So we are here at the Wynn Buffet. This is one of the best buffets in Las Vegas. We are here for the weeknight dinner. It's a Thursday night. It's $65.99 and we paid $45 per person extra to get seated right away because there is an hour long line. Now there is a lot to eat on the Wynn Buffet. But of course, one of the best things to eat is meat. These are barbecue pork ribs, chicken cordon bleu, biscuits, and this is fried chicken and biscuits. Fingerling potatoes, lots of bread, grilled asparagus, truffle spinach dip. This is a fancy buffet. Honey barbecue grilled chicken, pork belly mac and cheese, and honey butter cornbread. And there is more. They are refilling plates and whatnot here. There's a long line for the meat. This is the actual carving station down here. Oh, look at all that meat. Let me just go around the line for a minute and see what else is down here. Oh, look at that. You let, that looks so good. And let's continue on to the pasta station. This is the signature pasta station where you can get pasta made to order. They even have seafood, lobster, scallops, and meatballs. And over here they've got the Asian food, the Chinese fried rice and Dan Dan noodles, and a pho station for your Vietnamese soup and dim sum. This looks pretty good. Shumai, hot stickers, and vegetable spring rolls. And this is sushi, all of this sushi and sashimi and kimchi and edamame. But this is the other big attraction here at this end of the buffet. The seafood, look at this. We've got a seafood ceviche and marinated clams and mussels. And this is the shrimp cocktail. These are some pretty big shrimp and cocktail sauce. And of course, the crab legs. This is a mountain of crab legs. All split, ready for your eating enjoyment. And there's the clarified butter. Wow. All right, so I got a plate of seafood there for you. Thank you. Yeah, you like yourself some seafood. I do. You want to try that and yeah. see how it is? Yeah, some dressed crab here. A little salty. Fresh tasting. Nice and cold. Nice and yeah. Chill. It was on ice. Oh, good. Let's see. Now let me try some of the shrimp. The shrimp is fried, of course, with cocktail sauce. It's a given. It. Okay. This is a big shrimp. This is very meaty shrimp. Very filling shrimp. Mmm. Mmm. They're really good shrimp. They don't taste watery or anything. Really meaty and mm -hmm. firm and that cocktail sauce is, is great. A little spicy. Mm -hmm. That's right, it has a little bit of a kick. That's good. Mm. There is even more on this buffet like these deli meats like soprasata, genoa salami, bruschetta, olive tapenade, and more bread. All the breads you can eat and all the cheese you can eat. Cheddar and Swiss, blue cheese crumbles. And there's seafood down on this end of the buffet too, the shrimp scampi. Seafood pot pie tart and a togarashi tuna and baby bok choy. And there's more hot crab legs down here. And there's pizza, truffle mushroom pizza, beef birria pizza. I think I gotta try this. La, Regi La, La Regina pizza is what the sign says prosciutto, arugula, and ricotta and cheese pizza. It's a pretty good looking cheese pizza. I'm gonna get that one too. Oh, and this is the, the Latin station with the pork carnitas tamale, chicken enchilada, sauteed squash. 
Oh, there's more beef birria here, like in a bowl. And then a carne asada tostada. Chicken pipian. Oh, I, I want to try this too. Make a little space here next to my pizza. Here's some chicken pipian. Oh, that looks good. It's like spicy chicken. Oh, and carnitas. All right, gotta get that. Oh, this looks good. Look at that. Right there, it's starting to look like a pretty good plate here. Black beans and corn. Let's see if the meat area is open at all yet. All right, herb roasted turkey, barbecue chicken, dry rub rotisserie chicken, all the poultry you can eat. And now here's all the pork you can eat. This is slow roasted Kura Buta pork loin and honey glazed ham. And now we're getting to the real deal, which is the beef. Oh yeah, that brisket looks good. There's Polish rope sausage, barbecue beef brisket, and a beef steam chip. Can I try some brisket? Yeah, perfect, thank you. And can I also try the steam chip? Yeah. Oh, they got a sea salted, sea salt crusted strip loin too. Thank you. And, and can I try that one as well? Thank you. Oh, this looks so good. Got here just in time. Great. Thank you very much. Wow. Now that is a serious buffet plate. All right. You've got some more food too. What did you get? We have three things here. We have pork ribs. We have chicken cordon bleu and chicken and a biscuit, which looks really impressive. Yeah, that's my style. <laughs> what are you going to try first? Yeah, I'm going to try the chicken and a biscuit first. OK. Work my way to the pork rib, because yeah. that will require some messy hands. OK, let's just see how this Oh, mm -hmm. something inside? Oh, wow, there is something. In, there's like chicken inside. Wow. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Let's, let's dissect this. Yeah, there's little oh. chicken bits inside. Oh, wow. All right. Okay. This is like a pinata. Yeah. It's like a surprise cake. But yeah, did not expect that. I thought it was just the chicken on yeah. top. Okay. Well, that was very yeah. surprising. But let's see how this tastes. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Let me move this onto the table. It'll be easier to cut. Oh, yeah. Good idea. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I don't even know where to start. Yeah, you just use your hands if you want. Yeah, I know. But it's... let me do this. Let me cut a piece of the big piece here. Okay. okay, we've got the chicken. Got the chicken. And I pick up this here. Okay. This is the, the least greasy oh, really? fried chicken. It's very flavorful. The seasoning in the batter is great. This presentation, I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, it's kind of hard to eat, it looks it's, like. But it is a little hard to eat because really, the plate's small. It's a very cool presentation. You, yeah, once you break it down, you can try bits and pieces here. So let's keep right, going. Well, yeah, I'll try that. You can handle You'll that try that. I'll try mm -hmm. that one next. And okay. then you can try whatever you like next. All right, let's try this chicken. Chicken cordon bleu. Chicken cordon bleu. Yeah. This is fantastic. Yeah. There's a lot going on here. You have the ham, you have the chicken, you have the breading. Everything is complimentary. Oh, this is great. I really like this a lot. Yeah, everything on the on the Wim buffet it tends to be a little fancier yeah. than the uh, typical buffet, which yeah. is of course why you pay the premium price. Yeah, there is a premium for that, but ele elevated for yeah. sure. And you can see that in dishes like this. Okay, the last thing here is the pork rib. Look at how that just came off yeah. the bone. I took one bite yeah. and it pretty much just fell apart. Oh, this is excellent. This is so good. This, All three things so far, two chicken, one pork dish, yep. those are great.
Now I gotta try this one. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use my hands or try this chicken. The flavor of that, that coating on this fried chicken is incredible. I love that. It's not overly salty at all. Well, Great the, flavorful. You have the biscuit. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, it's almost like a pot pie for the fried exactly. chicken. Exactly. All right, now I got this plate here. You can try all this food. This is from the meat carving station and the pizza station and the uh, carnitas station with the this Mexican food and the, the, the carnitas and this this right here is uh, the uh, spicy chicken chicken it's chicken pipion pipion mm. that's it yep oh this looks amazing I don't even know where to start where should I start yeah, wherever, let's wherever start with here with the carnitas yeah. it's right here next to me we love the carnitas are so good here's a good crispy piece you always want a nice crispy piece of carnitas Yeah, it looks incredible. Mm -hmm. It's really succulent, so moist. It's just very tender. Mm. Had to get one more bite in. Let's try this with that color. Mm. Let's try this. Oh. Yeah, the big piece there is a steamship. It's this giant piece of meat over there. All right. If I must try some yeah. giant piece of meat. Straight meat flavor. <laughs> like no fuss, no, it's not overly seasoned. No seasoning it's really just, at all. It's straight meat. It's like yeah, carnivore. Well, carnivore central. Just, there it is. Yeah, there's nothing fatty about it. It's just very flavorful. Yeah, because that yeah. brisket looks pretty fatty. Yeah, the so that's kind of what you want. Yeah, that's kind of what you want. Like, look at that ring. Yeah, that's oh, yeah, right yeah. There. This looks fantastic. Mm. That is really so flavorful. The char on the outside, but this is it's very good. All right, let's take a look at these meats down here. All right, I'm gonna try this one first. I think this is a steam ship. The one you said just has a has a straight, straight meat. meat flavor. Straight meat. There's mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're totally right. It's sort of like a like a ro just like roast beef, mm -hmm. like a piece of roast beef. Yeah. But it's like, it's, like, yeah, it's really good. Yeah, I feel like that would be really great in a sandwich. Yeah, that's some really like great bread. Roast beef sandwich meat. Because it's just so meaty. Mm. Yeah, let's try this one. This one. All right, this this actually looks pretty good too. This piece. All right. Mm. Mm. Now that is melt in your mouth tender. The steamship was more uh, like a had a good chew, like a good roast beef. But mm -hmm. this one is melty. Yeah. Mm, I like that. Mm -hmm. And finally, let's cut off a piece okay. of the brisket. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That looks good. Can't wait to see what you think. Yeah, I can see it on your face. That's even more melty tender. Mm -hmm. Wow. And that is even more flavorful. It has that smokiness to right. it. Right. And the fattiness. Wow. Well, all the meats here are really great. I, I agree. I totally agree with the you. The meat, the chicken, the pork. Everything's been great. Thanks. I got to try the pizza. <laughs> There's meat on the pizza. <laughs> there is meat on the pizza. <laughs> this is the birria pizza. Mm -hmm. This is beef, it's like a beef pizza. <laughs> it's beef. You can eat it in tacos okay. and quesadillas. Let's try this on a pizza. Yeah. Mm. The birria flavor wouldn't really come across with the other toppings, but all the other toppings on here complement oh, yeah. the birria. Yeah. It's like getting the salsas, but they're also on the pizza. <laughs> we got some cheese pizza. Some cheese pizza that looks next. Good. It does look great. This feels really good too. All right. 
know it's just a cheese pizza. Yeah. But it's a very good cheese pizza. Yeah, the pizza yeah. here at the Wind Buffet is always yeah. really good. The tomato sauce is really fresh yeah. and it really pops. The cheeses are very creamy. There's some saltiness. Yeah. And you have a lot of different flavors here. Yeah. Oh, That's I'm good. really happy with that game so far. Now, there is a salad section here on the Wind Buffet. They've got a quinoa salad, Italian antipasto salad, coleslaw, I guess that's a salad, and Waldorf salad. And of course, there's a make your own salad area right down here. You can get your, oh, this is actually a, a classic Caesar salad station. So you actually have all the ingredients. Make yourself a classic Caesar. And there's even more if you can add to your salad, whatever you like. There's quite a variety of ingredients here. And there's even some watermelon and blueberries. And this is like a, a vegetable dip. And look at these juices, strawberry juice, mango, lime, and blueberry. And there's soups, hot home style chicken noodle soup, organic vegetable soup. This one's labeled vegan, wild mushroom bisque. This one's labeled vegetarian and creamy tomato bisque. This is labeled gluten-free and vegetarian. I should probably get something healthy. Maybe I'll make a salad. Well, now there's suddenly a long line of people who want to eat healthy. How did this happen? I guess I'll go get something unhealthy. Oh, there's the taco station, the taqueria. I knew that would be. There it is. You can see him making the, the fresh tacos right back there. Look at that. They're cooking up some shrimp right on there. That looks so good. Now, you have this side dish area that's sweet potatoes and broccoli and jasmine rice and mashed potatoes and a four cheese macaroni and cheese. And there's the pho station in action. You can see him making the, the Vietnamese soup. Yeah. Just like that, you got pho. Oh, look, I see some more Chinese food over here. This looks like chicken wings. Definitely got to get some of these. These are some meaty looking chicken wings. Look at that. Yeah, I didn't get any turkey yet. I love turkey on a buffet, and this turkey looks pretty good. There's also barbecue chicken and rotisserie chicken, but what I want is this turkey. It's quite busy here at the Wind Buffet tonight, and I don't see anybody able to give me the turkey at the moment. There's turkey gravy sitting right there too. I really want to try it. Looks like the chicken pieces you can serve yourself, but unless I want to grab this entire half of the turkey, I need to wait for somebody. Should I just, should I just grab this whole, <laughs> this whole, maybe that's too much turkey to eat. I guess I'll come back. They got some pork belly mac and cheese that I think looks too tempting not to try. So I will try that as well. I think that'll be a good plate. All right, so you have another plate of food here. Yes, so a few things here in this, is the seafood pot pie, which is in that same oh, yeah. sort of uh, baked puff item. Pastry kind. Yeah, puff pastry like the chicken. And we have here some elote street corn. I just need to be standing, you know, on a street by the ghetto to eat that. But we'll try it here at the wind. Yeah. This is the baked cod. We have some shrimp scampi. You see some mini scallops and a mussel as well. And this is the carne asada tostada. Oh, okay. So I have a little mix of seafood and the Mexican station here as well. All right. All right. Where are you going to start? Yeah, I'm going to start with the carne asada tostada. You're going to see some pickled onions, some cotilla cheese. This looks good. All right. 
this is really well balanced. I know this doesn't look like much of it, but just meat with beans and then soda, but this is holding its shape. The asada tastes really meaty, really flavorful. And since I'm on the Mexican station, let's try this elote corn. Let's see. Mm, really spicy. Not heat spicy, just flavor spicy. The elote street corn experience has the mayonnaise rolled in. Yeah, <laughs> like that's the one so it's, element that's it's not, missing. It's not that authentic. It's not that authentic. It tastes really good though. Okay. I will say that. I've got pork belly mac and cheese and some Chinese chicken wings. I gotta start with these. Those it's, are big. They're so big. Oh my goodness. Like, they're super big. Mm. That's a big chicken wing. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. That is really big. It's almost too big, to be honest. Really? I mean, okay. I mean, the, the wind really goes all out and really makes things to a next level. Mm -hmm. But either, this is maybe almost <laughs> too too much. <laughs> it's so big. How's Thanks. the flavor on that? The flavor, it's good. It's like a, it's like a sweet sesame, you know, it's, a, it's like a, like almost like a Thai chili oh, flavor, okay. actually. Those are like jumbo, <laughs> jumbo wings. They're really Extra big. Extra jumbo. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have one more dish on yeah. your plate here. Now this looks good. Little this cubes good. of pork, pork? belly yeah. and the mac and cheese. I guess you can call this a mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. uh, for... That is surprisingly good. Like, the mac and cheese? Yeah. Okay. It's like super creamy. I mean, I don't know what kind of cheese that is, but it tastes like a fancy cheese. <laughs> Let's try this pork belly. It's pretty fancy looking too. Mm. It is like pure pork meat, but super melty. Mm. I don't know how they do it. It looks really crispy too. It's super crispy, mm. and yet it's also just melty. Mm. Uh, it's like, I don't know how they do it. <laughs> Okay, guys, I have the seafood pot pie right here. Okay. Look how, first of all, let me, let me just pick this up. Okay. Yeah. It's cute. Because I think there's some peas in here. Uh, it's a little bit hard to cut in this, you know? So, yeah, I don't know how you eat some of these things. Yeah, here. I'm I'm going to move this to the plate. Oh, that's a good idea. Because yeah. it's easier to cut okay. on a flat surface rather than the bowl. You get this biscuit piece there. Mmm. That is... That's fantastic. <laughs> it's also fantastic. Yeah. It's like a really good chowder. Like oh, a okay. really good chowder in the puff pastry. Which gives it just more texture and flavor. And I'm really pleased with this. Well, it's that time. Time for desserts. And the Wim Buffet definitely has no shortage of desserts. Look at this. This is a Hawaiian cake. It's a whole cake. You got red velvet cupcakes, cake pops. A whole chocolate fantasy cake. This whole area is just a bunch of cakes. Strawberry shortcake. These look incredible. And all these donuts that say win on them. And bunt cakes. And of course the wheel of ice cream, a longtime favorite here at the Win Buffet. Okay, we can go to the other side and see what's going on over there. How do you get chicken biscuit? Yes, over here is where they have some no sugar added. They used to have vegan desserts as well. Here it is, the vegan chocolate cake. That looks good. Both of these, the strawberry shortcake as well. And they, oh, they also have, it says the panna cotta. It's also vegan. And then the rest of these are not, not vegan, <laughs> the creme brulee. And, and these cheesecakes and whatnot. And they have a crepe station, also one of the favorites here at the Wim Buffet. All right, I decided to get some cake. This is the Hawaiian cake and the chocolate cake. These look so good, mm -hmm. fresh sliced. And you got yourself some dessert here as well. I did, get? I have a strawberry shortcake. Yeah. This is a caramel churro. And this is a raspberry beignet. 
<laughs> it all looks yeah, so good. Had to get it. Had yeah. to get it. Mm. It's more of a custard. The science of raspberry vineyard. I was really excited about that. Oh, it's, it's not raspberry at all. It's not raspberry at all. You sang the song and everything. I did. Prince would be disappointed. As am I. But it okay. tastes great. So far, the only real disappointment here, I suppose. Yeah, that's true. Mm. The churro, that looks all right. Yeah, we'll try this here. It's a caramel churro. I like the size. I like this little petite churro. Yeah. Now, first of all, let me break it open. Okay. Because if it's caramel, that means it should be on the inside, right? Oh. Oh, there is caramel in there. There is some caramel. Oh my god. <laughs> This is a really good churro. Final thing on my plate is the strawberry shortcake. Yeah. They have a lot more cakes out in the dessert section. Yeah, I've noticed. Didn't, it, didn't used to have so many cakes here. Yeah, there are a lot more cakes here. I'm not complaining. I love no, cakes. Oh, this is great. Let's try this. Mm. The strawberry shortcake here, it's really delicate and light. Lots of whipped cream. It reminds me a lot of an Asian bakery type of strawberry shortcake. It's not heavy at all. It's very light. It's very good. I gotta try this Hawaiian cake. Yeah, that looks so good. Yeah. Mm. That's delicious. I don't know what makes it Hawaiian. I was expecting like pineapple or something. But whatever it is, it's like a white cake, white frosting. Okay. Is there well, fruit in it? I, I don't taste anything but delicious. White cake, white frosting. <laughs> yeah. uh, do you see? Oh, maybe there. Oh, look, there's. Maybe this is the fruit. Looks like a like a papaya or something. Yeah, I'm thinking it's possibly a papaya. Mm -hmm. It'll pop a fruit flavor. I think that is a papaya. Mm. Let's try. Okay. This is a big contrast. Chocolate, yeah, very different. It's yeah. very thick too. Yeah. It looks like a death by chocolate cake. Yeah, that's <laughs> so thick. I mean. That's very thick. <laughs> yeah, that's the only way to eat it. <laughs> mm. Oh. Uh, it has like an alcohol flavor in it. Oh. No, I don't like that at all. Ooh. Sorry. That was the big, this is definitely the big miss of my meal. Mm. Okay. China. Really See what thick. You think that's okay. going on there. Oh, yeah. There's a liqueur like soaked into it. Yeah. It's really strong. Yeah. It's really strong. It... So avoid the chocolate cake. Yeah. But the wine cake is lovely. I love <laughs> it. All right, so let's rate this buffet. Okay. What do you think of the Wynn Buffet on a scale of 0 to 10? 0 to 10 tonight. Everything we've tried, nearly everything was a hit. Yeah. Like, honestly, everything from the meats, the seafoods, and desserts. There were some misses, however. Yeah. So I'm going to have to give it a 9. A 9, nine out, out of 10. 10. Yeah, it's still pretty That's high. That's pretty high. Yeah. That's really high. Yeah. But I mean, everything, the quality of everything was fantastic. I'm just really happy with the meats and every, the variety. Fantastic night. My rating for the Win Buffet is also a 9 out of 10. I mean, this is definitely one of the best buffets in Las Vegas. And I will say, uh, I, I'm not giving it a 9 out of 10 because a few things will miss it, because that's always the case on any buffet. I'm giving it a 9 out of 10 because of the price. Fair. For two of us to eat dinner tonight with the line passes so we could eat right away, the total bill after tax, $240. Wow. Now plus, a, plus a tip. Yes. So it's a pricey meal, but I, I still would give it a 9 out of 10 because it's worth it. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and be sure to subscribe for more. It's free.